and God is on. Welcome to the band of the hand of the Son of Man, the loyal royal, the tribe of the scribe of the Most High. It's good to see you guys. Great to have you here today. Hey, we're talking about longevity. We're talking about health. We're talking about healing. How good does it get? God is a good God. Well, uh, we've been studying these things and our key scripture this month, two of them actually, John 14, 6, I am the way, I'm the truth, of, and I am the life. I am the way of health. I am the truth that sets you free from sickness and disease and malady and injury. <clears throat> and I am the lifestyle or the life multiplication and uh, the very essence of longevity. So, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, 30, 60, 100 fold of wellness. <clears throat> Mark 5, 34, go your way and go in peace. Jesus said to the woman that had the issue of blood, go in peace because your faith has made you whole, body, soul, and spirit. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. All right? So those are our theme scriptures today. We're talking about longevity and obedience fulfilled and pursued, having a drive, a drive, a hunger, a thirst, a passion for longevity, to be able to have the time to finish the work God has called us to do. And I really believe that most Christians don't live out their full life, maybe two-thirds of their life, maybe, most of them half. They settle for half because they let the world define how long they're supposed to live. They let the world define, the world system define how long they're supposed to be productive. They let the world system define how long <clears throat> that they are supposed to work or be operative in their profession. Well, longevity. I wanted to show you this. Look at here. This is my grandfather Brown, Edward E. Brown's shaving cup and his shaving brush. Now, I used to be... <clears throat> just absolutely mesmerized, mesmerized by my grandfather because he could take a straight razor. In fact, I have his straight razor over here. He could take a straight razor and uh, he could shave the back of his neck and never cut himself. And he worked that thing, you know, he worked that thing as easily as you would an electric razor. Well, I'm not going to work the straight razor today, but I am going to show you some things. Uh, I'm telling you, man, I'm talking about longevity. Instead of spending a bunch of money on shaving cream, now this doesn't matter. This doesn't count a whole lot, but I like to to conserve where I can. This this shaving soap, and I got it down uh, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. One of these. One of these bars lasted me for over two years, okay? So I didn't have to buy shaving cream for two years, all right? And each one of them cost maybe, I don't know, it's something like three or four dollars, all right? So I just wanted to show you this. What do you do? Well, you get your, your, your shaving mug ready and you wet down the bristles, okay? And you get it real foamy. You got me? See that? Doesn't that look fun? All right. And you come in like this. And in my case, I, I don't shave all of my face. But the more you work that lather from that brush, the thicker that foam gets. Okay. All right. There we go. There it is. All right, just to give you kind of an idea of what it's like. All right, and then so you start shaving. You start working that thing. And the great thing about using that brush is the more you work that brush, the more the suds and the soap gets underneath the different bristles of your beard. Not just like smearing lather on the outward. Okay, I mean, this gets down and not only does it get between the bristles, but it helps to clean your face because it is not 
a just a foam, but it is soap. And in the process, in the process of doing that, it makes your face feel so much smoother after the shave. So I'm kind of an old fashioned guy and before long, I'm gonna perfect that straight razor like my grandpa. Of course, he was born in 1886. I'm the youngest grandchild on both sides. You've never seen a preacher preach while he was shaving, have you? All right? And so what happens is you get that good, 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 smooth feeling on your face because not only is it shaved, but it's washed now, okay? So then I take a little oil, anointing oil, and in this case, a little stress away, I put it on my hands. Instead of using a bunch of chemicals, I put the oil on and there you go. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready for some good shaves, good clean shaves? It's the cleanest shave I know and it's the most enjoyable one. So, if you want to conserve, if you want to make it last, if you want longevity and get more money out of your shave, and how about that? I'm still using the same brush and the same mug from I don't even know when my grandpa bought this, but this is my grandpa's shaving mug and brush, and I'm still using it every day, and I thank God for him every time I use it. Now, let's talk about longevity, all right? Are you ready? Okay, now... Values, longevity, longevity. <sighs> Let me give you this scripture. Deuteronomy 25, 15. You must have perfect and just weights. You shall have full and just measure that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gives to you. What does weights and measures have to do with longevity? Well, weights and measures determine values. So God says, what do you value in life? What is important? What, what, what is precious to you in your life? And your, your longevity will be determined by just values, fair values. Do you value the loss? Do you value the Great Commission? Do you value the anointing? Do, you val do we value praise and worship? Do we value health? healing, wholeness? Do we value the fact that Jesus said, heal the sick, operate in the supernatural? How much value do we put on the anointing? Number one, all right? So longevity is value-based. Values equal longevity. Longevity equals values, and there is a high price to low living, okay? There's a low price <clears throat> when we live by the Holy Spirit, to high living, all right? We just have to be consistent with it every day. Number two, possess your assigned land. 1 Kings 3, 14. I'm talking about longevity. And if you will walk in my ways to keep my statutes as your father David did walk, then I will lengthen your days. What did David do? When Joshua went in the land, they only possessed about maybe a tithe, a tenth of the land. And they were always being oppressed by the Canaanites and the Amorites and the Philistines and all of these people. But when, G when David, the father of Jesus, the seed of David, was king, he launched seven wars to drive out the Nephilim Canaanite societies in the land. He conquered the land. He found his assigned field and he possessed the land. How are you going to walk in fulfillment and longevity? Longevity will be released when you find your assignment, when you find your assigned place, go there, get into it and activate the will of God in that place in the field where your seed matches that soil to produce the maximum harvest. Number three, seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 34, 12 and 14, what man desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Okay, is that you? Do you desire 
long life and to seek many days <clears throat> and to see good in those days and to have quality of life and longevity? Well, the Bible says in order to do that, seek shalom and pursue it. Seek wholeness, wellness, healing, the ability to flourish, prosper, break out mightily. That's all the meaning of peace or it's translated peace. It's the word, the Hebrew word shalom. Seek shalom and pursue shalom for longevity. Number four, Proverbs 9, 11. <clears throat> Wisdom is the mother of longevity. For by me, your days shall be multiplied. For by me, wisdom, your days shall be multiplied. For by me, your days shall be multiplied. And your years, the years of your life shall be increased. Claim it in Jesus' name. And lastly, <clears throat> it is the manifestation, longevity is the manifestation of a Jesus lifestyle. Be a Jesus logian. Concentrate on the teachings of Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Speak of Jesus. Psalm 91, 16, with long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation, my Yeshua, the word salvation there, Yeshua, salvation in the Old Testament, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus is the Lord Jehovah who saves us. Sin, spiritual insanity, Yeshua, Jesus, J-E for Jehovah, S for saves, U-S, us, Jehovah saves us from spiritual insanity. So right now in the name of Jesus, we're claiming longevity. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint the people. Help them, Lord God, to walk in the legacy, the legacy of long life and blessing that they can live long and prosper, walking in the shalom of God. Thank you for the pursuit of longevity, helping us and initiating it by the obedience of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, God is